Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Violet Housethor, joined this week by Mark Sherry and Mark Ramone. And you just heard Anna by The Snaz, before that Letterbox by The Foresters, Little Lies by Cardiac Kids, and Starting Things Off Wave by The Glad Machine. Uh, this was the sort of indie rock block of our tribute to the Essential Western New England Songbook. The Songbook is a listenable anthology of many of the best songs ever written by artists from Western New England. So there's a lot of really, really good music. And yeah, a lot of good stuff here. Yeah. Let's things off with Glad Machine because, wow, uh, they rock. <laughs> I like them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're, you know, they're a Western Mass band that's, mm -hmm. you know, been around, uh, I guess, for... You know, uh, almost a decade now. For a while, I, you know, we, there were many of us thinking that, that this band, you know, should be going on to stardom and um, they've got the chops. They, they absolutely have they the chops. They've got the chops. Yeah. They, they just have this intense rocking edge while still being very poppy. It's got that power pop energy. I don't know how to explain it. It's just really good. Yeah, and you're right, though. Yeah. Well, why haven't they been noticed? We got to get the word out there. Exactly. <laughs> America needs bands like the Glad Machine. Yeah, yeah. that that would crush. Yeah, and they and still the, do. So, yeah, this tune. Rocks. And then let's travel back in time to mm -hmm. the 80s, because, wow. What can I say? I'm a sucker <laughs> for it, for my 80s pop. And this is a really good example of it. Cardiac Kids with Little Lies. Uh, they just have, it's so funny. Fun? Are you kidding? <laughs> like, come on! Wish I saw them at the Rusty Nail back in the day. <laughs> yeah, no, they're really fun. They did had a lot of really cool stuff going on, and this was a uh, this was a bit of a regional hit uh, back in the day uh, before they broke up in '84. And they pretty much uh, recently released a 40th anniversary collection. It was really good. It's just some really good stuff. Really fun indie pop from the era i don't know they could have easily gone on to chart with something like this it, it, it's a shame because they i guess geffen records actually had some interest in them but then they quit in 1984 they you know the band broke up it's too yeah, bad it happens it happens and yeah. this is a really really fun song so yeah and they're a whole they were holyoke based and um yeah they they made their name in in western mass for sure I love this song. I play it all the time. Anyway, uh, then we have the Foresters with Letterbox. Uh, they're out of Bethany, Connecticut. Sort of an indie rock band. They have so much fun there. There's something really, really magical in what they do here. It's rocking, but not, not too heavy. It's got that indie flair. I don't know. It's just good stuff. It certainly is. Yeah. And they seem respected. I mean, they've opened up for Apples in Stereo. Mm. Uh, but that that tune definitely is, uh, you know, well worthy of uh, of being part of uh, a songbook. Speaking of which, um, one of my favorite tunes um, by, you know, a band which I was so sad when they broke up is Anna that we finished the show with uh, by the Snaz. And, oh, uh, it, they rocked. Oh, they rocked so hard. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. From Brattleboro, Vermont. And uh, gee, I, I saw them once play up in a little club in Brattleboro and they really knocked my socks off. Yeah, they do some of some really, really terrific stuff. It's yeah, I don't know. They just they had it. They absolutely had that spark. The vocals, the band, the lyrics. It's it was there. Yeah. And, and it, it's so and raw up. energy, too. Yeah. Oh, just, so much energy. energy. But luckily, that spark traveled to a band like Moxie, who's from Southern Vermont. True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> energy is still there. So definitely Southern Vermont is a bit of a hot spot if you're looking yeah. for some surprisingly hardcore rock. In a Go pinch. Brattleboro. Rattleboro, Rattleboro got it sometimes. Yeah, and and as as we heard, uh, Dharma Rodriguez from um, the Snaz uh, and did a lot of the songwriting um, and vocals. Uh, she's uh, back doing some of her own stuff now. Maybe we'll hear more from her soon. I hope yeah. so. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us. We hope you enjoyed some great original music from Western New England artists. I'm Violet Housethor here this week with Mark Sherry and Mark Ramon. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. 
The New Music Alliance Radio Hour is brought to you by the New Music Alliance, a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to assist and advance the careers of talented creative local musicians to write original music and to promote the extended West New England area as a destination for original music writing, production, and performances. If you like what we're doing here on the show, tell your friends about it and like the New Music Alliance and the Radio Hour on our Facebook pages. And don't forget to check out our website, newmusicalliance.org, where you'll find the extraordinary Essential West New England Songbook, a listenable anthology of many of the best songs ever written by artists from West New England. And you just heard a pretty solid sampling of the songbook here today. And while you're there, if you support the New Music Alliance's mission, we'd appreciate your making a donation or becoming a member or a sponsor. If you're a local West New England musician who'd like to have your original music considered to be on a show, send links to your songs to newmusicalliance at gmail.com. Join us next week for more great tunes from West New England artists. And until next week, please stay safe and keep on rocking. Yeah. Let's have yeah. Klaus and Khalif Neville take us out today with African Eyes. <laughs>